everybody it's your girl V from mama is busy I just wanted to stop by real quick and just share some knowledge kick some ballistics and um, you know just talk about something that occurred on Sunday and just has been a blessing I know I'm a little crooked my car situation. I don't know what's going on with it, but it got me lean back. Lean back. <laughs> if this is your first time to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And to my regular speculars, hey, how y'all doing? Um, I pray everybody is having a blessed day thus far. So I just wanted to chat it up about, um, you know, praying the will of God, you know. <sighs> We, we are quickly to say that God will give you everything you ask for. And my question is, will he? Will he give you everything you ask for? Ponder that. The answer to that is no. If it is not according to his will, he will not give you everything you ask for. God is not going to give you something that will hurt another person. Okay, for instance, okay, if you are praying, Lord, Lord, please bless me with this man. I really love him and I want to be with him. But this man has a wife. That is not the will of God. He's not going to give you somebody else's blessing or you say something like um lord I'm, I'm praying for this car i want this car so bad you know um god wants to know if you want it so bad do you have your license if you get the car where are you going to put it who's going to register the car so we have to be careful of how we pray we have to pray the will of god you know, and in the beginning when we first get saved, um, we may not know the will of God, but once we are studying his word and getting closer to him, we, we will begin to know his will, you know. So, yes, he will give you everything you prayed for as long as it's based and according to his will. So, I pray that you pray prayers according to his will. You know what? Let's just talk about the will of God while we're on this subject. Sometimes the will of God is not our will. He says in his word that his thoughts are not our thoughts. His will is so much perfect than ours, you know. So, my will might be right now to get married to tall, dark, and handsome. I'm already married to him, but I'm saying this is an example. And I want this marriage so bad, but because I don't have the knowledge of how to be a good wife, I can kill Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome because I feel like I'm looking at him as the joker that left me for dead. The, I have so much baggage that I'm bringing into this relationship that I'm actually hurting Tall, Dark, and Handsome. So God is saying, no, I need you to grow up. I need you to level up, to learn how to become a good wife. I need you not to rest on this man being your everything because God wants to be our source. He wants to be our everything. So I don't need you um, believing and wanting this man to give you happiness or wanting this man to give you joy because that is my job. That's what God is saying. That's what I am to do to give you joy, you know, and happiness. So you're leaning on this man to give you everything when God is saying, no, baby, it's me you're supposed to lean on. So his will is for you to get to know you. His will is for you to grow. His will is for you to um, become the full 
Ah, this thing is annoying me. His will is for you to, to grow where you're supposed to be. To, um, and then in the time comes, perhaps he would give you the husband, you know. He's such a good father. He knows what's best for us. Um, we have to tap into what it is he wants for us. Jeremiah 29 and 11 tells us that he has a good plan for us. A good plan for us. Not a wicked plan. And then there's a scripture that tells us that. I'm trying to think where it is. But he says that um, I'm a... He says that he gives us good gifts. One of the gifts that he gives us is the Holy Spirit. The minute we become... A the minute we become born again, we receive the Holy Spirit. And he'll teach us all things and also bring things to our remembrance. So, um, he says that him being a good father will give us all things, you know. And, and he parallels it to saying, like, we're evil, you know. And we still give our kids all we can. So, how much more will he give? Being a good father, you know. So... What we're talking about today is his will. We're talking about um, answered prayers, you know. And um, yeah, we'll get our answers, our prayers answered when we believe and pray the, the will of God, you know. And knowing that he has an excellent plan for us is half the battle. Um, and you know what that speaks to? I know, I hope I'm not getting y'all dizzy. But that speaks to trust. How much do you trust God? Do you trust that he does have a good plan for us? So even when I'm praying something and he tells me, no, not yet, I should trust him. Just like when, when we were kids and our parents told us, no, you can't eat those cookies at seven o'clock in the morning. No, just wait and I'm gonna get you some breakfast. Um, we didn't know to trust, but in, in a lot of ways they were teaching us um, trust and we have to get to the point where we really really trust God you know so y'all know on this channel for those who, who have been here many a day y'all know that on this channel our whole niche everything it, the whole thing is about us um, accomplishing even though we are busy we are busy accomplishing and being productive so I just want to encourage you to be productive today I want to encourage you to you know you know big on the calendars big on the planners I want to encourage you to plan time to speak to God write down some of your specific prayers if you journal write down some of the specific prayers I'm waiting on God to do thus and thus and so um, and especially once you know that it is his will, then you need to start praising him in advance. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Know that God is going to work it all out. Praise him in advance. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you, you are going to see it. So be encouraged, be strong, be productive. And um, be about your father's business. I call you busy bees for a reason. You are busy bees for a reason. You know why? We're not just busy doing nothing, but we are busy being productive. We are producers. We are creative. We are doing what the good Lord tells us to do. So I want you to be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day and know this. I love you so much. Tuning into my channel, hit like and subscribe.